TV link? Is this an accessory or something? We'll see. Is this going to crash MAME? (laughs) 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 Worth it! Worth it! Worth it! Worth it! Worth it! Worth it! I... I... from Austin, Texas, where we're often accused of having a lack of supervision. It's Retro Pals with Danny and Alex. Hello, Alex. Hello, Danny. Yes, it happens all the time. Yeah, I, like... I think I think there should be a third party here to, to supervise, make sure we don't say anything too fucked up on stream. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, you just, you just did. Oh, no. Said... I, said the, I said the fucked word. You got... Bad. All right, we're bad at this. We're bad all right. At, we're bad at... Listen, we, we just got signed by a company called Pure Streams, okay? <laughs> Your st- <laughs> when, when are you I planning think- on telling me about this? Well, I'm telling you now, so, you know. Pure stream gold, that's what we're all about. Hi, everybody. It's Retro Pals. We're doing one of our regular uh, console showcases where we show off some console nobody has ever heard of in their entire lives. And then we're going to play every single game for it, back to back to back. Mm-hmm. It's going to be a manic couple hours. We're all going to be sweaty at the end, but it'll be a good sweat, I promise. Alex is clearly ready for this stream, so let's I, I, fucking this is go. Disgusting. No. Okay. Well, before we go, I have people to thank. Wonderful people. Yes, please. Um, thank you, Comic Chameleon, for the three-year, thirty-six-month resub. Thank you so much. That's three whole years. Thank you. Thank you, Lin- Lady Linalia, for the forty-six-month resub. Thank you. Uh, yes, you can pet the supervision. Of course. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Nocturne Dust Claw, ten-month resub. The ultimate. We have. We have back at home console. Yeah, yes. exactly. Thank you. Thank you for the hundred bits, Cartman, and thank you. Yeah, thanks, Joe Bush. A twenty-eight month resub. I sure hope that adult supervision is not required for me to enjoy the Watara supervision. Well, bad news. None of us are adults, and we're all unsupervised tonight. So Fuck. go nuts, kids. Oh man, this. Uh, are we just? Are we just like the teens who don't care, and we're mm-hmm. gonna get murdered because yep. we're gonna let all these kids die? We're gonna have unlimited pettings of the Watara supervision. It's getting crazy here tonight. It's just getting completely out of control, and uh, I hope you're ready for it. So we took a poll to our patrons last week. Mm-hmm. We asked them, "Hey, what you want to see? We got some uh, some portables that have never been shown on stream, right? Yeah. Would be a shame if one of them was to suddenly appear and be uh, showcased." Look at that. Look how close it was. PlayStation Portable was actually ahead right at the beginning, and then it was a dead heat between the N-Gage and the Watara Supervision. In the end, it was just one vote. One One vote vote decided that we would play the Supervision tonight. Sorry, Mm N-Gage. I'm really looking forward to playing the N-Gage, though. I've seen a lot of it lately. A lot of high-quality software on that system, but for tonight, we're moving on to a much, much higher-quality console, the Watara Supervision. What does it look like, you may ask? Like this. Ooh. Uh, they made a bunch of them. A whole bunch of different flavors of this came out, and it actually got released in the States. I think the one that we had was the one on the far right there. Mm. Uh, the one in the middle is like a German version, and then the one on the left is like a, uh, a Taiwanese thing. Oh, I wanted to credit the site this was from, because this is exclusive uh, photography from Wise Gamers. Yes. I did remember, yeah. Yeah, Wise Gamers uh, is part of a, a German, like super fan site all about the supervision they make homebrew over there the only homebrew for this thing comes out of germany nowadays that that is that is great i almost said that's delicious is that is delicious? delicious i don't know do we have another photo oh uh, we sure do look at this one. Oh, look at this it's got a little kickstand so you can oh. play it like a dipshit if you want to i love playing things like dipshits <laughs> But yeah, the short story of this is it's a budget-priced alternative to the Game Boy. Came out in 91 or 92 or something. Price point of $49.99. The Game Boy, of course, was $89.99. It's a bargain. Mm-hmm. You gotta get it. Your, your, your budget-minded parents will love it. Absolutely love it. This thing actually had a pretty big library, like 60-something games. I'm gonna try and play every single one of them tonight. 
we'll, uh. we'll have to see how that goes. No. If you've seen this before, you may have watched old uh, British children's TV, in which case you're in good company. Uh, this thing often appeared on the show Bad Influence, often being touted by a queer icon, Violet Berlin. Is she? I'm declaring it. Okay. If she's not already, she is now. <laughs> All right, sorry, or congrats, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to get any argument here. But yeah, this was, on on uh, that show at least, it was presented as a serious alternative. They would be like, okay, here's your options for Christmas. You can get a Game Boy for 80 pounds or the Supervision for just a mere 50 pounds. It's a, you got to get this, kids. You got to. Yeah. So that's that's the story of the Supervision. If you saw it at all, it was on one children's sh uh, video game show in the UK. Or you may have seen it in infomercials or something. I don't know how it was promoted over here. It was it was used as a prize in a few things, if I recall. I, I want to say it was on Legends of the Hidden Temple, too. I don't know. Was it on the Legends of the Hidden Temple? Did it come out of Olmec's mouth? Did he start <laughs> no, rapid-firing him at, at all the kids? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kabi, for the 16 months. Do not play the Watara supervision without adult supervision. We won't. Thank you. Should we get started? I guess we gotta. I'm excited. We're using command line MAME for this one. This uh, this version of MAME has been extremely problematic for us in the past. Oh, uh, yeah. Ruining streams completely, forcing us to shut things down. I think years and years later, we finally, finally have the ability to show things off without everything exploding. Or we should shut down in like a couple minutes when I get mad. Mm -hmm. Either one of those things will happen. All right, let's do it. Do you have the uh, the gameplay screen ready yet? Uh, I will once I click this. Ready? Okay. So, game number one in MAME. Mm -hmm. 69 out of 69 software packages. Let's <laughs> fucking go. Starting with game number one, Alien. Thank you, Shaxpert. 54-month resub. Sounds like this is going to be a banger of a stream either way. Oh, it my will. God. I have no idea what to expect. That's the other thing. These games are <laughs> new to me. Like, usually I'm like, okay, I played these games years and years ago because I'm a huge ROM nerd. But this system never messed with it. I'm so excited, too, because it has so many games from, like, my favorite developer, Sachin. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Vork, for the 69 bits. It is Thank a nice you. library. Wow. Truly, we do have Game Boy at home. <laughs> There's a beam meter. Is this an R-Type ripoff? What? Oh my god. Well, let's, let's play it. Let's go. Stage one. Did Sachin straight up make the console? Oh my god, this is a Sachin console. That's what I heard. That's, oh yeah, a, that's lot of these, heard. a lot of these games have graphical problems, so there's going to be some extreme flickering. Uh, please... Please uh, pay mind to your uh, your mental state while you play this. I'm always paying mind to my mental state. I'm, I'm too busy playing games. I can't talk. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you Cartman, Cart for the 100 bits. <laughs> Get ready to fast forward. Yeah, we're on Flickr Planet. What's this thing that shoots out when my beam is... Just the letter A? It, yeah, I was gonna say it's, a, it's one of those uh, traffic cones. Okay. Just going up to the aliens and saying, A... You're throwing a traffic cone to get them to stop. Oh it my works. god, dude, the diagonals are twice as fast movement compared to the, the cardinal directions. <laughs> so you just gotta move diagonally? Yes, it makes you move at double speed. Well, our type was a, a hot thing for a hot moment. A lot of hotness back then. This was ported to Sega Master System and then ported to PC Engine, which was a pretty uh, arcade faithful port. Mm -hmm. This is um similar in that you have a charge-up beam. And you shoot enemies that look kind of like the enemies from from our type. So, was the Mega Duck and the Supervision the same console? Were they different consoles? No, in fact, they were totally different consoles. I, I can't thought for sure. That. I thought for sure we'd be seeing the classic Snake Roy tonight, but no, that's a Mega Duck exclusive, also known as the Cougar Boy. Is this going anywhere? Is it just? Is it just this? Oh God! Oh jeez! Do I, do I gotta go back to the beginning of... <laughs> well, we do have 60 games to get through, so so why don't we just... Whoa, whoa, hey! <laughs> Sorry. Alex just... took away control from me, and my, I, my plane I just rose up into the, the air. I screen, because the bottom's cut off. Oh, okay. Well, let me, let me game over first. Okay. 
<laughs> okay, now you can adjust it. Okay, sorry about that, folks. Thought I had that right. Okay. These are some jams. Okay, there we go. Alright, good. Next game. Cold jams? How dare you? These jams are very well done. They are they are spicy hot. Let's go. And the next game's jams will be even better because next up is Balloon Fight. Balloon Fight? Balloon Fight. That's that's a top one hundred game for me. I love the NES game Balloon Fight. What's uh what's Balloon Fight look like on the, the Supervision? <laughs> Playing three different songs at the same time, that is what it sounded like. Yes! Alright, here we go. Ooh, here we ooh, go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Are you hooting like an yeah, ape? Yeah. All right. God, Sachin making balloon fight. The makers of Jurassic Boy. The makers of Popo Team. I'm excited. This is just balloon fight. It is. They're even <laughs> the enemies are little pigeons, just like in Balloon Fight. Oh, you only have to to pop their balloon once. They don't actually uh do the, the parachuting thing they do in the NES one. Do you have any way to pause? Um, yes. Give okay. me a second. Hold up. Hold on. <laughs> wow, that's a fat bonus. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. Holy crap. All your points are going to come from bonuses in this game, I guess. All right. Okay, one second. One more adjustment. I got to make the <clears> screen. <throat> You gotta see every single scan every line. Every single every single every horizontal pixel. line. Beautiful. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Thank you for your patience, everybody. Let's go. I wasn't patient. Well, you don't count. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh god. Is the timer really necessary? Do I really need six minutes to beat this level? I mean, maybe. Does it do the screen wrap? Oh yeah, it does. Cool. Well, this has very simple physics. The gameplay is also simplified. But if you want Balloon Fight on the go, you you better pick up Balloon Kid for Game Boy, because this is not the game you want. Aww. Are you sure? They tried, though. I like the penguins. Yeah, yeah. I like popping the penguins. My favorite uh, 90s band was the Penguin Poppin' Daddies. Look at Boo! Hey, I don't like that they can stand on the spikes. Is that... Are these little wind-pushing things? They are! Look! Oh, there's wind! Look! They added wind! Something sorely missing from the original balloon fight. Which did have lightning, but not wind somehow. Okay, this is my favorite game so far. And I've racked up a record number of bands for just a single... That's that's many bands packed into a tiny 20 kilobyte cartridge. More band for your buck. Okay, let's go. Next up, after Balloon Fight, of course, there is... <laughs> Blockbuster, eh? I wonder what this is. What could this possibly be? It's normal. Oh yeah, this thing was also known as the Travel Mate. It helps you travel. Blockbuster. This game was made in Germany. If you look at the uh, the cover art for this, it's a bunch of ch Tetris pieces that look like they're about to kick your ass. Good, good. Honestly, I I feel that the Tetris pieces have been passive for too long. Aha. Uh -huh. okay. Well, bust these blocks, honey. I had a certain game in mind when I heard the title Blockbuster. Mm -hmm. And it is a ripoff of a very popular game, but it's not the popular game I was expecting. So would you say this game, this uh, system has uh, surprised you? It's defied my expectations, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it's created some surprise and delight. Uh, it sometimes drops your inputs. Sometimes it turns the piece twice or three times for every one button push. What? Nothing feels super consistent here on the uh, the old supervision. That's part of the fun, isn't it? Just never knowing what's going to happen. Also, this well is twice as wide as this in Tetris. Have you noticed? Oh, a little bit, yeah. Mm. 
Let's see if we can get a Megatris. Okay. That's my goal. I expect to see some flashy graphics here. Do, 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 do. you think do, a musical do, 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 do. change? Maybe. Do you think that the, pres the president of Watara's supervision will come over to your house? Yeah, he'll be alerted on mm -hmm. his big red phone. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, hold on. Ah, fuck, someone's playing the supervision. Book me a plane ticket over to Austin, Texas. Where's my long piece? You're being haunted. No matter what version of Tetris you play, this is the curse. You spend your entire freaking life waiting for a long piece. Danny, are you in hell? There it is! Finally. All right, here we go. You ready for Gaming Bliss? Yes. I'm gonna make you wait for it. Okay, okay. Gaming Bliss is coming. Okay. Halfway there to Gaming Bliss. This is like the Bucky. Just around the corner for Gaming Bliss. Here we go! Here we go! Here we fucking go! <laughs> Next game. I don't know what I was expecting. Next up is Brain Power. Love that name. Bloop. Do you have brain power? I'm. My brain is expanding every second I play this. Wow! wow! Yes! That's the worst effect I've Holy ever seen. Holy shit! Okay. I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> I've never been more confused in my life. This is probably Minesweeper, right? Mm-hmm. It's Minesweeper where the cursor only moves once every second. You can delay your input by pushing it early, but it only registers every second of the timer. I hit a bomb. Oh, you're so happy up there because you died, I guess. <laughs> Another game! Another wait, game! Wait a second. No, we got other games. You gotta try the others. What happened? I don't know. I, uh, you gotta be better at mine detector. It's 3D checkers for Atari 2600? Are you fucking with me? Why would anyone want to play this? Why is this on here? No. 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 No, we're playing Caterpillar. Okay. A nice family game. I'm guessing Snake? Uh, snake. Yeah, it's Snake. That's uh, Snake. It's fruit Snake. I hope there's some fucked up end of level graphics in this. What I saw has whetted my appetite. I hope to see a lot more of that. Because Sachin was pretty good at drawing graphics. You think we'll get to see our, our caterpillar friend? I hope so. Uh, sorry folks about the bit rate. It should be coming back soon. You gotta have all the bits for this game. No! Oh no, not again! <laughs> Once again, we've displeased yet another lady with our poor Watara supervision play. And we dropped all our bits on the ground. Let's play Hopper. What? Oh. Oh. Chinese checkers. All checkers. right, I get you. I get you. Well, this is a, a, a batch of four traditional games. You'd often get these on portable consoles. This is pretty standard. Yeah. It's good they have it, though. Mm-hmm. Your yeah sounded so disappointed. <laughs> I like, just... Yeah. You saw what brain power... That looked so good, and I was so disappointing. Yeah, it did have a really good title screen. Yeah. Up next, Bubble World. A world of bubbles. I want to go to Bubble World. Have you noticed the nice stereo speakers on this thing? Mm -hmm. Some really nice separation in some of these games. This isn't one of them. Sounds... Oh, that was just Windows Entertainment Pack. God damn them! This sounds sick. Like ill, li li like an illness. Bone treasure to you, Alex. Don't. Guessing in the chat that it's Bubble Bobble. I think you might be right. 
What? 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 <laughs> it's Snow Brothers. It's Bubble Bobble, but they took out like 75% of the mechanics and made it like extremely simple and weird. So this is what happens when you jump. I'm gonna hit A. He stops in place. In fact, the entire game stops in place and he leaps upward. And then you shoot bubbles to encase the, the monsters. So it's it's kind of like Bubble Ball, but it feels like it's going to fall apart in any second. <laughs> Can you jump down? You cannot. This is a really rough Bubble Bobble. Still, it's it's scrolling. That's more than the original Bubble Bobble did. So, uh... I was about to say that means that this is superior, but it's not. No. I want to get a game over, though. Okay. What, hurry up! I just started! They're like, you got 60 games to go through. Come on, chop chop. <laughs> Even the games are trying to rush me through it. Sorry. No, I want to okay. I want to savor this like a nice steak. A delicious, well-done steak. Watch it fall to the floor. And... Damn. Next up. Let's go. We gotta go. Because up next is Carrier. Wow, that's a shitty Dreamcast game. Anyone play that? That was like a survival horror game made by Jalico. Terrible. Let's see how it uh, ports to the supervision. Excuse me, the Travel mate. Yes, it's your no. favorite. Yes, yes, carrier baby. He's not carrying. He's pushing. He's a Steve Door. <laughs> Steve Doors do not carry. You shove it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm letting my emotions get the fucking. <laughs> so, like the the previous games, your controls are only registered <laughs> once every several frames. Like, let's see if I can do this. I'm going to say the word down as I hit down, down, down. See how it waits like literally half a second. Oh my god. Just completely... They botched it. They botched it, but good. And there's flickering somehow? How do you even do that? Oh, okay, you're gonna get this. Yeah, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna rearrange this warehouse. Buy me a cool car. Use it to run over my boss. <laughs> Danny! <laughs> I think that's the plot of, the sh of Shove It for the, uh... The Genesis. Shove it and run over your boss game. The full title is Take This Job and Shove It. Remember that? That was a popular song for a while. Yeah, bring that back. You know what? Why hasn't that song gotten a resurgence on TikTok? Yeah, let's let's bring back Shoving It. Yeah! <laughs> no, that was worth it. That was definitely worth it. Next. He did the You Did It pose. Very proud of that little man. How about we play Cave Wonders? Remember, touch nothing but the lamp. I'm gonna touch the shit out of that lamp. Don't! Well, you can touch the lamp. Okay. Who is this little fella, do you think? That's Bonk? He's got a I'm getting potato vibes from him. Potato anybody man? Else, anybody else? Uh, a dizzy, dizzy, uh, the, uh, like, s strung out dizzy. <laughs> strung out dizzy. <laughs> Disney's not looking too good. Ever since the collapse of the, the old ZX Spectrum. Oh my god, Alex. Alex. Hey, this looks ins inscrutable. What? 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 I Going to Code Man, this is a bootleg remake of the Game Boy game Cave Noir. <laughs> they ripped off Cave Noir? I know that game. 
That's a pretty uh, well-known hidden gem nowadays, but to rip this off in 92, that's downright innovative. However, it looks and plays like utter dog shit. Wait. I started up a new game and this is totally different from the map I had before. Yeah, it's a roguelike. This is a roguelike. Hey, roguelike fans! That's something for you to suffer through. A little something something for you. Uh-oh. Oh boy. Oh jeez. Oh yeah, I have hit points. Look at that. You did it. You killed his ass. Good. Ooh. Let's get uh, whatever this is. Get a health up. Can I just straight up use that now? Okay. Why is this so complex? <laughs> it's like a one of those hex-based strategy games. Yeah, this is... <laughs> of all things. I think oh, you I'm don't gonna like get the killed. music? You, you, don't, you don't like, uh... This music is a special kind of hell, yeah. <laughs> I love them! I don't know what the gameplay is. I can't adequately describe it. There's a sub-menu, you use magic. I... I think I'm impressed. Let's move on. Very bold jams, yes. That's the word I would use. <laughs> Challenger tank. Driving a tank is pretty challenging. Especially when it looks like that. Oh my god. Oh no. Have fun! This looks like shit, sorry. Okay, so button A rotates your turret. That's kind of interesting. Then button B uh, fires the, the bullets, you see. The Action 52S console. Are you seeing this beautiful screen tearing right now? Like every single frame, a tear. There we go. It takes a while for you to turn your turret, and you gotta hold down the button to fire. I guess the fact that you have a rotating turret is way too much for this game to take. Because you can practically hear all the CPU cycles uh, screaming in agony. Hell, I'm screaming in agony. Alright, just, yeah, just turn on V-Sync in the options, honey. Oh yeah, I should have enabled V-Sync. Let's go to the BIOS, enable uh, triple buffering. You know, I don't think I like this one. You don't like, uh... Tank Boys or whatever it's called? Not a fan of Tank Boys. Mm. Next. After the Challenger tank, there is, of course, Chimera. I have no idea what this could be. Uh, I will take directional A, please. It's a ZX Spectrum game? Or at least it has that same uh, three quarters got perspective. Food and water, so. And it ticks down. I'm a robot. Why do I have food and water? Come on, Sachin, or whoever. Use your freaking brain. Okay, uh, Taizo, says, Taizo says this was made by a British guy, and it was actually perhaps ported from a C64 game. That the would make British a lot of sense. Made. That would make a whole lot of sense. This does look very C64. Okay, it was a specky game. Okay. Boy, did I call it or what? I it's mean... so British they call a wrench a spanner. Were you aware of that, Alex? Yes. Yeah, it's kind of fucked up, right? It's... Listen, I'm not going to piss off our British fa fans. Oh, we wrenched the water reserves. Look at all that water we got. This is so interesting. I think this is, like, the best one yet. It graphically looks good. Yeah, and... I like the little robot. Ne next game. Next game, please. All right, next up. Did oh. he scream, or did I mishear that? I'm pretty sure that was a scream. Okay. Uh, I saw something about radiation, and then it kind of blew up. Oh, so. yeah, he's he's fine, folks. Our uh -huh. robot friend, he's perfectly fine. 
we, we sent him off to live at the robot farm. Up next is Chinese Checkers. Normal. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm... Look at all these... All your favorite Sachin mascots are right here on screen. It's their version of the Veggie Tales. Oh my god, there's credits! <sighs> Big fan of JJ Hung. Oh, JJ. He knows how to draw a ridiculous sprite. Shout out to the Chens. Amy's giving us the raspberries. Fair enough. So's Andy, I think? It's possible that there are too many good faces on this screen. I love them all. Oh, Aww. I like this! Oh, and then it's just Chinese checkers. But what a presentation! Error! Yeah, this has heart at least. Yeah, they cared about making a good-looking Chinese checkers game. I don't know how to... I don't know how to make it go. I forgot how to play Chinese checkers. Do you have to jump? I'm confused. I was gonna say... I'm very confused. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Let's go. We're leaving. Good graphics, at least. Like the character art. After Chinese checkers, we have classic casino. Another staple of the, uh, the portable market back then. Gotta have a casino game. Mm-hmm. Weirdest looking bong I ever seen. <laughs> Is it supposed to have that flame coming out of the top? It's normal. <laughs> She's gonna float, isn't it? This intro is the best thing I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, poker by candlelight. It's very romantic. Oh, jeez. Um, let's do, let's do poker. I kind of like the ominous uh, sound of this music. It is ominous. Mm -hmm. That's a good word for it. All right. I'm betting. Okay, you have to hit left to bet. I can't think with this music. It's too high pressure. Oh, I gave up all my cards. Okay, this, this, I know what to do this time. Okay. Why do they keep giving me the bad cards instead of the good cards? That's my question. I got one pair. You got a pair? One more. Okay. Alright, give, give, give it to me. me all the... Hey, two, two pair! pair. Look at that king art. <laughs> that's so good. No way. That's I've, amazing. I've never seen a better looking king of cards in my life. I wish I could draw like that. That you know what that looks like? It looks like a that looks too good to be an NFT. It does. Yeah, this is like authentic pixel art, not that fake shit. Mm. I'd take this over the that ape shit. Let's go. Next game. I'm having fun. I'm in my element. You're, I'm just you're... this is this is classic Danny, just rolling through a ROM list, seeing what pops up. Real chaos shit. <laughs> hey Dino, welcome. <laughs> Dino is uh, very experienced with the uh, Watara supervision library. Glad you're here to see it. Let's climb. Uh... Oh. Uh. Oh. What? Oh, it's Nail and Scale! Check it out! Yeah, yeah, the Game Boy Classic Nail and Scale, where you got a nail and then you scale. You see? Oh, hey, what are those? 
what are any of these sprites? I, I get the snake. Well, there's a snake. Uh, there's a guy who's in a hurry. Now I just want to see if there's a funny game over screen. But yeah, this is similar to a Game Boy game called Nail and Scale. It's pretty uh, self-explanatory. You climb the walls by sticking nails in them. I don't see you nail any scale. That is a creepy looking game over screen. Music isn't very uh, fun either. I think it's great. Next up. What a great bunch of games we've seen so far. I'm excited to see what's next. Cross High, huh? I miss traveling. Soon enough. I think race is what we want. Limit time. Oh, this is uh, another Game Boy game. Which one is this? Oh, with a shit ton more flickering! Motocross Maniacs, there you go. Thank you, Frappe. Oh yeah, this God. is straight up the Konami game, Motocross Maniacs, only with way, way, way too much flickering. Like, what are you guys thinking? Don't look at this. I'm not. <laughs> I'm only gonna play like five more seconds, because this could this could kill people, this this flickering. Not to mention the damage I'm doing to my motorcyclist. He's not too happy either. Oh. Alright, we gotta we gotta move on. Yeah. Let's, let's go on to the A next A lot of game. the issues we are experiencing can also, uh, some people are saying it may be, uh, some people who actually have a Watara experience are like, this is bad emulation, so. Oh, could be. Yeah, yeah. this is a preliminary driver in MAME, far as I know. Crist Ball. Crist Ball. Crist Ball. Oh! Crist Ball. Crist Ball! This is Christ what I ball. thought, this is what I thought Brick Breaker was. Instead it was Tetris. I think we're an expert. I've crisped a few balls in my lifetime. What do you think the difference is between expert and like beginner? Oh my god, what is that? Uh, expert mode has extra amoebas. I like the amoeba. I like the Amiga. Only Amoeba makes it possible. I mean, you're not wrong if you think about it. All things are made possible by Amoeba. Alright, what are the trends we've noticed so far? Straight up ripoffs of Game Boy games like Motocross Maniacs. Mm -hmm. Staple games like Breakout and Casino stuff. A couple of original things? A ripoff of Cave Noir for some reason? Yeah. But so far, this is pretty much what you'd expect. Budget ass game boy. Oh. <laughs> Let's move on. Okay. We're like, what, a, a tenth of the way through the library now? Let's go. <laughs> We've got to pick up the pace with Dancing Block. This was on Famicom. This is a, a Sachin classic. I'm excited to see this in monochrome. Now, if this is similar to the Famicom game, you control a block that eats fruit. Well, I do like eating fruit. Yeah, here you go. This is the Famicom game. So you see that hole on the top of my block? That can fire bullets, but it has to be facing towards the enemy. So you gotta keep the uh, the block's hole face in mind. I'm so sorry to use that I phrase. I'm always keeping the hole face in mind. But yeah, it's like rolling around to die. There's There's one face that has a hole on it. I really wish I could rephrase that somehow. This could be a hit indie game? Yeah. Anyone want to license this? Get the Evercade say. people on the horn. Uh, ask around, see who wants a whole face. Yeah, dancing blocks with your favorite hero, whole face. <laughs> oh, those, those bees are on your ass. Did I ever tell you I'm pretty good at dancing blocks? You're really good at dancing block! What happened? You just gotta keep the, the whole face in mind. Okay. If you forget where the hole is, you might as well just pack it up. Go home. Go big or go whole.
You are too good at this! What What else have you been keeping from me? I found my game. You did! I'm gonna be an expert streamer at Dancing Block. Let's move on. Okay. There's a force meter? Yeah. Let's wow. Move. Let's move on. Yeah. I like Dancing Block. It's a classic. But is it better than Delta Hero? Is that the movie that's like... Kevin James? Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> wow, what a title screen. That sucks. Spawn <laughs> treasure. Can you at least, like, make them parallel with each other? Something? I don't know. Explain. Okay, welcome to play. Shoot the background obstacle, you will have unexpected discovery. Alex? Yeah? I'm getting Fatal Labyrinth vibes. This is the guy who's only ever played Fatal Labyrinth. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. You're right, though. Like, do you push up against the guys to... Yeah, yeah, it's kind of like that. Pick up that cup of coffee. Increase your life force. Get money. You can go and get the money. I'm not sold on this soundtrack. I'm really not sold on the soundtrack. Let's go get some shades. In the woods. Hey... I'm afraid those are cursed. Cursed shades? I don't think so. <laughs> this might be the Gremlins theme for all I know. It really does seem to be like Fatal Labyrinth, though. It's a very simplified roguelike. Mm -hmm. Weirdly enough, the second roguelike we've seen on the system. <laughs> Was this thing ahead of its time? Did the, the technical limitations of this console really limit their imagination and their ability to replicate the games they wanted to make? I can't listen to a single second more of this. Please. Let's move on. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. Oh. Let's go to a dream world where the music's better. Somehow it may have been ahead of its time and behind its time at the same time. I wish I found bags of money in the woods. I... Boy, the Cinderella castles never looked better. Ah, what happened? <laughs> the Magic Kingdom, they call it. It's in like a... Irritated. Oh no, I was I was dreading this. What? It's a side scrolling platformer. Wait a second. ESP? Mm hmm The way you shoot out these little boomerangs? This is this is uh that game. Um Game Gear Master System. Psychic World. That's what it is. Oh, also hey. known as Psycho World, but very, very simplified. <laughs> That's hilarious. Why would you rip off Psycho World? Psycho World had its genesis on the, the MSX2, then they ported that to Master System. Each time they ported it, the gameplay got a little bit complex. I mean, less complex. And then you look at this, and they've pared it down as far as it could possibly go. I just love her sensible outfit. It looks like she's uh, coming home from work, and it's just hell on her. I like her boots. They're very nice. Not sold on the soundtrack to this one either, but at least it's not grating. Are you sure of that? Well, it's grating on a different level. Yeah, she's about to go to, uh, from work to karaoke. So she like that that's a journey she's on, the hero's journey, the heroine's journey. <laughs> to and karaoke. She yeah, yeah. She just wants to sing. It's it's one of those karaoke bars with boobs, so Here you, you little the jester got away. What oh the my fuck? god! Kangaroo boss! Kangaroo boss is generating Sudden you! Sudden kangaroo boss! Oh god! <laughs> got demolished by the world's biggest kangaroo. Y'all saw that, right? I didn't just suddenly hallucinate that? No, that was real. What's the eagle's plan, I wonder? I don't know, probably like swooping, 
Looking majestic. Moving. Yeah, that was uh, Kangaroo Jack getting her revenge. <laughs> Took the money, but guess what? It's not giving it back. Legal plan. I could draw some of these title screens better. I could. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm in primary school. I've been laughing at a blank screen for 40 minutes. Well, it's a very entertaining blank screen. I love the way the pixels fade. That was really well done. I like that. Ten enemy fighters. Oh no, it's super flickery Top Gun for some reason. I'm gonna play about ten seconds of this, because our co-host is not able to watch this no. for very long periods of time. <laughs> Give me Top Gun any day of the week. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see you land the plane in this one. Next game. That's about all I got. Someone gotta do something about the flickering. Someone polish up this MAME driver. Earth Defender. You know, years go on, I get less and less of a desire to defend the Earth. You're, like, not going into the Earth's mentions anymore to yeah. yell at people. The Earth can just say whatever it wants. Mm -hmm. Sick. You know how when you play a harmonica, it makes a different tone if you breathe in compared to breathing out? This sounds like it's all breathing in. Not another platformer. Well, this one's an auto-scroller, it looks like. You know who you look like to me? Who? David Crosby. <laughs> He's got that nice hair helmet, yeah. Finally, David Crosby is in a side-scroller, playing the role he was born to play. This kind of reminds me of Big Mode in NES Predator, in, uh, in the sense that it's a auto-scrolling side-scroller. Yeah, the bullets are just the zeros. <laughs> it is just the zero. I'm shooting out Cheerios. Whoa, oh, holding down the jump button can just... you have infinite jumps. Yes, welcome to the Watara Supervision stream. We are streaming this hell system. Yep, we are doing Watara Supervision, the, the, the classic Dino console. <laughs> Dino should get a uh, sponsorship to, with the Supervision. You know how they're reprinting the uh, old Tiger LCD handhelds? Let's get more Supervisions out there. Please, please let's play anything else. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad someone snitched. <laughs> The rare supervision stream here on Twitch. Fatal Craft? Would you pilot something that is known as a Fatal Craft? I wouldn't pilot anything, because I don't know how to pilot anything. Is this the information superhighway? This sounds like and looks like the game you play on the way to die. Alright. Let's go. I'm all in. It's Gradius. Oh, it doesn't look super flickery. Hey. Yep, uses the Gradius power-up system. Has that same glitch from, uh, what was it called, Alien? Where if you move diagonally, you move twice as fast oh, than you if do. you move in the uh, cardinal directions. I like that glitch. It's like Gradius if nothing happened. Hey, you're collecting stars. Can we get a laser? Can. Oh, you got laser. That's the laser. Folks. Well, this is... This is... This is Sadius. <laughs> I was gonna say, this is a really sad attempt at, at Gradius. Revenant, you said that at the same time as I did! That's fucked up. Next game. My thoughts should not be shared with others. <laughs> up next, after the saddest version of Gradius. We gotta play, um, Final Combat. The last one. No more combat. Yeah, we were all thinking it, I guess. Alright, another Sachin! Yeah, yeah, 
This is gonna be a good one. You know that, uh, what's that, the Army Reverie? Where it's all like, they forgot all the notes. Then the guy just started, started freestyling. I kind of love this. All right, we better Funk, go. Funky Bugler. Tanks three. Oh, I was hoping we wouldn't see this. It's the dreaded Battle City ripoff. Oh, man. You never want to see Battle City. Unless you're Russian, in which case you can't get enough Battle City. I was going to say, where this isn't even a Russian developer. What's going on? Yeah. Battle City, very commonly uh, cloned, pirated on the Famicom uh, clone system, the Dendi in Russia. So this throwaway game called Battle City just got huge, huge ex exposure in Russia for no... Uh, in no way tied to the game's, uh, quality. Battle City's okay. It's alright. Battle City's fine. I'd rather play anything else, though. You can't even destroy the emplacements, except you can. Can you destroy your own thing? I'm trying. Go, Danny, go. We can break through. We can do this. We can destroy our own base. You did, I did it. it. Go. Go? Oh, that was the object. You don't have to protect. You have to attack. I guess that's a clever inversion of the Battle City formula. Or maybe I'm giving this game way too much credit. Maybe I think you're giving it too much credit. Huh. Yet another tank game. There's been, what, like four or five of them? A lot. Next. So, after Final Combat, we have Galactic Crusader. Oh, no. Hell yes. Hell yes. Oh, no. This is one of the lesser Sachin games for Famicom and NES. This one, this one actually got released in the States by Color Dreams. Lesser. As if there's such a thing as a lesser Yeah, they're Sachin all great. Game. Nice title screen. Mm-hmm. We did play Crist Ball. That was an excellent game. Oh, yeah. I go back a ways. I'm a I'm one of, I'm a major league crisp ball player. Yeah, it's that fucking shoot 'em up where you play as a butterfly. God, I hate this game. I didn't know you were so anti Galactic Crusader. When did this happen? I actually like this version more. Look at that weird laser you get. It's neat. It reminds me of uh, Fruit Tappy. by the Foot. Yeah, Fruit by the Foot. <laughs> we're both right. Mm-hmm. Comes the flicker. Love it. I was saying, I was going to say, maybe I was thinking of Huge Insect as the game you like. Oh yeah, Huge Insect. That's a game I'm a fan of. That's more in the uh, Galaga mold. Mm. Whereas this game is just moldy. Yeah, this this game still looks like a The flicker is bathroom. taking over. Let's go. Okay. I'm glad I'm playing every game for this thing. Get an idea of what the library's like. Galaxy Fighter, huh? How are we gonna fight the whole galaxy? Whiskey. Yeah. Let's get ripped. Galaxy Gefighter. <laughs> Such pleasant music. Thanks for the bits, Cartman. Yeah, this is blast processing. It sure its is. Finest. Hey, remember Galactic Crusader? It's I, that again. This is better. It's faster. Less flickering. There's a big M&M. Has Popeye music on the title screen. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at these missiles. These are neat. It's just Galactic Crusader, but way, way, way better. You think that's how it was advertised? Hey, kids! Did you think Galactic Crusader sucked? Sucked the big one? We'll try this. <laughs> Our last game sucked, quote-unquote, the big one. <laughs> but we're trying again. We know how to program this time. What? I hate to say it, but Galactic Crusader was Sachin. This is Thin Chin. 
maybe, maybe Sachin not the best at making games for their own system. Yeah, like this was ever advertised. <laughs> Let's move on. Yeah, that was okay. I'd play that if I had nothing else to play. But I could end up playing Grand Prix. Sachin and Thinchen, same company. Yeah. Oh, wait, they are. Yeah, Thinchen is their, uh... Hold on. Was it a subsidiary or something? It's it, Thinchen's the parent company. That's what it is, yeah. Turn down the music because, uh... Oh, why? Because I like our audience and I don't want them to suffer. First race, China. Can you feel it? We're going at 288 kilometers an hour. When this baby gets going, you're gonna see some serious shit. Is there a raceway like this in China? This is very nice scenery. This is really, yeah, it's good. This looks lovely. Where is this? So on, on Game Boy, there was this game called F1 Race uh, that was bundled with a, a multi-tap adapter. You could link up to five Game Boys and play that game with four other people. Or you could play this. This music is attacking us. I want to finish one lap. This is... Does this count as music? This is... You know what? I've never said this before, but they really need to tighten up the graphics. <laughs> <laughs> In any way, shape, or form, that would really help here. The background's really nice. I like the way it looks. Mm-hmm. This is like Outrun? I mean... Hell Outrun. This is what Outrun is in hell. This feels like you're trying to outrun something. Death. Yeah. Right behind you is like the specter of the Grim Reaper. Mm hmm. Feel it every time I stream. Here we go, the final turn. Can we get an impressive ninth place at the Chinese race rally? Let's do it. Ninth place, ninth place, ninth, ninth place. place. Very interesting sounds. Very, very interesting. <laughs> More rejection! I've gotten, I've gotten rejected by a record number of pixel women tonight. I'm not a fan. Proxy, I'm surprised you didn't have one of these sooner. I'm glad you, you added it to your collection, though. You gotta have a supervision. Yeah. <laughs> Next game. <laughs> you gotta keep racing in China until you impress that lady. Happy pairs. Get Rolo ready. Don't say that. Don't say that. See? Don't you don't have to say that. It's like a baby. Okay. We're back to baby games, I guess. North Pole, round one. What is Yeah, they ripped this off of Final Fantasy. <laughs> oh, you faithful. It's a Christmas game. I didn't even know. Let us adore him. Oh, oh come, come let, let us, us adore him. him. Christ the kid. <laughs> what? <laughs> Just like Bruno the Kid, but worse. Yeah, exactly like that. Oh, I should yeah, it's that. it's one of these games where you got to link together two identical pieces. Nice. Mm, that's okay. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Next, please. That was a recognizable piece of music. <laughs> that puts it above a lot of the other soundtracks we've heard tonight. But how about Happy Race? Seen the happy pairs. How about a happy race? What a happiness. 
They should call it, they, sh they should just, you know, go for it and call it, like, sad race. <laughs> sad race. Pissed off race. Melancholy race. Depressed race. Mm-hmm. I like those really stupid Burger King meals. I mentioned that, like, once a month. I'm so... Sorry. It's really tiny Rally X. Look. You gotta get the little flags. Baby. If you bump into a boulder, you explode. It's got that, that one flag that drains your gas and gives you bonus points. Imagine if Rally X was the tiniest game possible. Yep, you can still shoot out the smoke. I kind of admire the music in a lot of these games just for how tuneless they are. There's no real musical, uh, structure. Play what you want. It's just, you know, whatever notes you want. It's like jazz. 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 That's how I described Thin Chen's music. <laughs> We're gonna do it. We're gonna... That was the last flag. Let's get it this time. Yeah, you gotta get it. Can't have another pixel woman being disappointed in me. Or can I? Yeah, it's the bleeps and bloops are not playing that matters. Okay, I have to get a game over screen, right? Yeah. There's like a 50% chance that some lady is going to be so disappointed. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, gee. That car died. Fucking rip. Next game. Happy race. Heh. <laughs> My ass. <laughs> Next game. <laughs> Hash blocks? Wait a minute. Hold on. What's uh, what's Twitch's policy on this? Is there a... Uh... I guess there's not much uh, rules in place regarding this uh, the usage of this product. Does yours usually uh, come in blocks? You're a hash browns? What? Uh, I I'm You're hashing the blocks. Okay, let's let's do it. Oh, here we go. This is <laughs> these are more normal blocks. Why was the default just numbers? That's so confusing. I like that. Is this columns? That's my guess. Four in a row, not three in a row. That explains it. Yep, it's good old columns, but extra wide. Just like you like it. The wide columns. I'm just saying, why not make the well as big as possible? Tetris limits itself to, like, what, ten different columns? Why not push the limits of human achievement? Make it twenty columns, thirty. Make it fifty. Society needs more columns, damn it. Oh no, the rare double game over. Fifty-one points. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Next. Yeah, we call that Tutris. What's next on the agenda? Well, we got Hero Hawk. We got two heroes here. We got Hero Hawk and Hero Kid. Let's see which one's better. Kind of like the hawk. See, look at him. It looks cool. Okay. We're in. You think it's going to be an actual hawk? Sneak in. Uh. You're not a hawk, bullshit. Blah. <laughs> you blew them all up. Sorry, I scared myself. Oh. Dude, it's Crackdown. You know, the, the Genesis Sega arcade game? You mm -hmm. gotta plant the bombs and then escape? That's just what it is. Can you lean against the walls? No, you can't. But it's still very clearly Crackdown. 
I love Crackdown. Not the, the bullshit 3D one, the Sega one. I guess Crackdown 1 on 360 was okay. Do you like this one? I do like this one. What do you think of that? I'm 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 glad I'm pleasantly surprised. What about you? I want to kiss it. You want to kiss this game? Yeah. Give it a big old smoocheroo? Yep, right on the lips. Okay. I'm happy with the life I've made for myself. All right, this is apparently based on Sachin's NES Silver Eagle. Okay. So they ripped off Crackdown twice. How dare they? Well, it's, it's a good game. You should rip it off. Mm -hmm. Let's move on. All right. I want to marry this game and have its babies. I don't know whether I'm serious or joking anymore. <laughs> Halfway through the ROM list and already my brain just doesn't exist anymore. Hero kid baby. There once was a brain here. It's gone now. <laughs> yeah. What's he throwing, do you think? It looks like... Those look like crabs. What? Not another side-scroller. It's an NFT now. I hate it. Just, Ugly boy. Just more platformers we gotta play for Mascot Friday. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. It's Wonder Boy! It's an Adventure Island-like... Why, God, why? <laughs> It's totally Wonder Boy. Can I... Can I please... Okay, let's play the game. The B button just kind of locks you into place. Uh, the A button jumps a different height every time, seemingly. Do you have to hold up when you jump? Yeah, okay, you have to hold up when you jump to get any kind of distance. I got this now. You got this? This is a one life clear now. Okay. Everybody, the rest of the stream is just going to be Danny beating this game. It's going to be amazing. Yeah, yeah. Who can forget the the famous theme? Imagine Wonder Boy if it was impossible. One more life. One more life. Yeah, uh, fair point, Proxy. The uh, supervision had a nasty, ugly screen, so the flickering might be trying to account for the intense ghosting on the system. Could be, yeah. The original Game Boy also very ghosty, and you can imagine the budget-priced alternative being even worse. I've never described anything as being very ghosty before. Yeah. I didn't touch that! The worm killed you! I didn't touch that! I didn't come anywhere close! Nice, nice number of points, though. Next game. I think we're making good progress. I think we can see this whole library if we keep up the pace. Let's play Honey... <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Honeybee. <coughs> Sorry, I just need to die here for a second. Okay. Hey, I'd prefer if you didn't. This is Honey Bee. Danny needs some honey tea. What's happening here? This is intense. Yeah, why is there so much intensity to this? Enter stage one. This isn't Honey Bee. This it's... is a different kind of bee. Oh, it's Twin Bee! Even gotta shoot the clouds! Why did they keep that? <laughs> That's the worst part of Twin Bee. <clears throat> oh no, Bemo, that noise you hear is not the squirrels uh, banging on a hammer, but it is uh, the Watara supervision. Oh yeah, the squirrels haven't come back since last Wednesday. Hey, That's that nice. was really weird. That was weird. So how do you like your twin bee? Flickery and slow. I've got the game for you. Nice. I don't think anything more needs to be said. You pretty much summed it up. Oh no, poor twin bee. I mean honey bee. It 
It does sound like our washer load is off balance. <laughs> it does. <laughs> let me let me lose another life. Okay. So we can see Honeybee's wife be disappointed. <clears throat> oh, come on. No disappointed wives? Mm -mm, Where's no all fail. the disappointed women? I'm so disappointed at the lack of disappointed women. Next game. We gotta see something good. I wanna see something stand out. Something like Jackie Lucky. This guy named Jackie, right? Mm-hmm. His theme song isn't great. Getting divorced from Wimpy. <laughs> hmm, I don't know about this. Who? Dude, look at this jump sprite. That's so good. All right, I'm all in on Jackie Lucky. Wow, look at how warpy the screen is. Look at those fat ass birds. I love the birds. I love everything about this. <laughs> Attacks with a pizza box. Which doesn't work. <laughs> oh, this is a Cusa Grande. Wonderful. This seems like a pretty good Cusa Grande game. Oh, Bye. Fuck. He just leaves. Oh, I see. You gotta get the mushrooms. Maybe you're collecting ingredients for the pizza. Oh, that makes sense. Like stars. Yeah, put the donut on the pizza. This dude's got some hang time. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. God damn it. I love the way you die by just sliding off screen. What the hell is this? Is this your, your alternative to Super Mario Land? Do you think it's better because you collect mushrooms constantly? Was that the innovation they had? Mm -hmm. Not enough mushrooms. More mushrooms, uh, more fun. Just like Six Flags. I don't know what I'm saying. The He's got a scarf. Is... The system is destroyed me. I love his jaunty outfit. I will say that. This is my last life. Okay. Big jump. Right into the pit. I'm done. I'm so done. Yeah, what's with the scrolling? I've never seen scrolling that looks like that. It wasn't flickery, it was wavy. How do you how do you make scrolling look wavy? What's our next game, Alex? Jaguar Bomber. There are no officially licensed Sesame Street games, so you're out of luck. We'll find them. If they exist. Oh, the genre I hate the most. The really, really slow scrolling vertical shooter. Oh, hell yeah. We've seen like three of these already. This doesn't even have the decency to be a Twin Bee knockoff. What are they knocking off here? Bullshit? They're, they're knocking off, uh... Bullshit. Bullshit, yes. That sucks, I'm modded for 2021 with no more bullshit, so... <laughs> Instead, you got more bullshit than before. Mm -hmm. Well, I would game over, but you'll just have to imagine this plane's wife being sad at him. Next up. Boy, I don't know about this last batch of games. I'm really hoping that we can <laughs> turn things around with our next game. John Adventure. Yeah. It's, yeah. Lit it's literally in his name. The man's last name is Adventure. John Adventure. He's, he has a problem. John? J John, you okay? You, you doing alright? He's, he's fine. Why is the O so big in that name? John! Maybe it's to emphasize his love of donuts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what music do you want? Do you want my friend? Happy morning. 
We gotta go with Naughty Guy. Naughty Guy! guy. Look at that little drawing of him up there. I love him. He's got his little umbrella. He's ready to go on an adventure. It's just Dr. Mario. <gasps> it's Dr. Mario! Which, you know what? I'll take it. I'll take your Dr. Mario. You make a playable puzzle game? Fine. Oh, I love Naughty Guy. I like the way they put the two parts of the pills together. <laughs> I like it a lot. Fuck! God! Bandan. <laughs> Bandan. I'm sorry about that one. Hold on, I can fix this. Are you really going from the bottom? Hold on, I can fix it. Okay. We'll make it right. Okay. All right, you ready for this? Check it out, check it out. We're going to fix this in real time. All right, here we go. Told you. Nice. Look how happy he is. Redemption arc. Redeemed. I like this. This is a very playable version of Dr. Mario. It's not all flickery. It's not all wavy. Hell yeah. There's very little disturbing content in this game. Shout out to John Adventure. Oh, I just want to keep playing this. I found a good game. I'm sorry, but we have to go. All right. You have to go back to the dumpster. I love you, John Adventure. Oh, John loves you too. What a cool guy. I love John Adventure. Don't play that next one. That one's not working. Got it. <clears throat> There's two homebrew games for this thing. Uh, one of them is called Journey to the West, which does not work in this emulator. The other one is called Assembloids. Both of these games were made in Germany by the same homebrew company, and neither are supported in MAME. So good job maximizing the, uh, the hardware potential of the supervision. So much so even the MAME team can't keep up with it. <laughs> Let's play Juggler instead. <clears throat> Yeah, that happened to my buddy Eric. <laughs> you're a, you're you're a juggler. You shouldn't be, you shouldn't be doing the the sawing people in thirds trick. And you definitely shouldn't be doing the swords of death box trick. <laughs> this music. What? Sending from heaven. <sighs> oh. Wait a second. Is this a Spanky's quest like? <laughs> it is. You got to bounce the bubbles on your head to make it bigger. And that uh that lets you kill the enemies. It's a Spanky's quest like of all fucking things. Why would you do that? One of the buttons makes him do this. That's the best. <laughs> I see. So you got to you got to make the bubble no, no. Go, go this way. Maybe the bubbles only bounce to the right. Let's try it. Let's try it like this. Okay, here we go. Oh, now it's bouncing to the left. Yes, the classic Spanky-like. No one remembers Spanky's Quest. Well, someone did. It's on Nintendo Switch Online and not a single person has ever played it. I bet someone's played it. I played it when I went over to my room ex-roommate's place. See? See? <laughs> so their Switch is the only Switch that has ever played Spanky's Quest. I can't believe they ripped off Spanky's Quest. This is so fascinating to me. Sorry, this music. What are you... Your little hop! He hops. He's got hops. Okay. No. Th do, do it the... Do it the freaking other way. Okay, okay, here we go. This is it. Like, like this? Y yes, yes! I did it! Good! Good! I'm the first person to ever beat a level in this game. Imagine Spanky's quest if it was impossible. Then you'll have Juggler on the supervision. What a game. What a game to rip off. I'm impressed just by the game they chose to rip off. 
Let's play Cobby Island. An island of Cobbies? I really hope this is Kirby. Well, it's it's kind of. Who? <laughs> Kirby got Kirby got those big boots. He's he's got his stomping boots on. Golden Island. Yeah. What am I even looking at? I'm the flickery fellow in the middle. Um, I can plant bombs. Have we seen this kind of game before? Seems pretty novel to me. Where you, like, destroy the environment. Yeah. A game where you're, like, a weird freaky little man. Yeah. Setting off bombs. <laughs> Bomber freaky little man. Yeah, I think that was called Explosion Freak. Explosion Man, there you go. Yeah. The enemies can drop bombs too, though. Did you see? Yeah. That guy was that guy was dropping bombs. Oh, what a dickhead! Blomberman, yes. You know, all these games could be using the same music, and I wouldn't even know it. Just instantly forgettable music. Hey, I love these enemies. They're so dopey. They're good. What does it look like when I blow myself up? Well... <laughs> you just kind of die. Let's do that again. <laughs> oh, I'm invincible. And it scrolls? Plot twist. <laughs> that little face he makes when he's facing forward, I really like it. He's so happy. He is. He's the only one who's happy about this situation. He's like, oh boy, time to die. <laughs> <laughs> Bomber fellow. For the supervision. Don't you just want to blow him up? <laughs> Kitchen war, sure, fine. I'm at the stream where I'm at the part of the stream where I'm already completely jokerified. Yeah, I'm just like, I... just throw whatever at me. I don't fucking care. I can handle it. Yeah, I don't even know what I am anymore. I don't even know what's coming next. I can. <laughs> yeah, all right. Let's get enlisted in the kitchen war. All right, game. What are you ripping off this time? More like Bugs Bunny's normal castle. <laughs> what art? Whew. Got the ladle. This is the slowest cutscene of all time. I'm not controlling this. <laughs> oh, it's a cutscene cutscene. <laughs> yes. Oh, I got bit. You got malaria, so that's cool. That's not cool. Now I'm getting generated by mice. Boy, another cutscene. What do you think that is? Water? Soy sauce? Whiskey. Mmm. Delicious. What's making you appreciate the Game Boy? I think this makes me appreciate the fact that the Game Boy had this kind of solid competition. Competition is the backbone of any uh, capitalist society. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And look at this. This is what capitalism gets you. The best of uh, all worlds, baby. Mm -hmm. Get your fork. Then leave very slowly. Ladle back. <laughs> it is that one Ghostbusters game that was also Mickey Mouse, that was also Garfield. Yeah, it's real crazy castle vibes. <laughs> I gotta say, if you're gonna rip off Crazy Castle, at least make sure your castle is equivalently crazy, if not more so. Yeah, real normal. Just like my just my advice to you. Like you said, real normal uh, castle vibes here. 
Next up. Standards are raised. Crazy Castle appeared in the recent hit film Space Jam 2. It did. Everybody wants to see Crazy Castle. You gotta give them a good version, not a bad version. At least not here on Kung Fu Street. You try to sell a bootleg game to someone on Kung Fu Street? You gotta get your ass kicked. <laughs> Do you have any Bugs Bunny normal castle? All right, here we go. It's Kung Fu Street. It's just ye are Kung oh, Fu. Oh, god damn it. Except the first enemy's a caveman. I do like a caveman. How do I do things? Oh, I see. Let's see if the caveman can figure out my strategy. I had him cornered. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I found his weakness. Specifically, they're ripping off the Famicom slash MSX version of ER Kung Fu, which is already downgraded from the arcade original. <laughs> but I guess, in many ways, it's better known, especially in uh, parts of the world that have lots of multi-carts. Cool. Okay. It's Katana Lady. lady. She went to the Katana store at the mall. I, you know what? I've been to two malls in town, and I have not seen a katana store. Maybe I need to look harder. If we don't have any katana stores in Austin, I don't even know what I'm gonna do. We should move. I hear Portland has a better uh, sword economy. Mm -mm. It's just a boxer. Whew. Oh, I found the kick. This is alright. This is fine. 1993! Wow! This is a really late game. I just noticed the, the date at the top. Alright, let's move on. Konami will sue. <laughs> Konami will sue anybody, but I don't know if they'll sue Sachin. Linear racing. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> I'm sick of that open-ended racing. What if racing was linear? What if racing was linear? Brave Skater. He sure is. It's a slide puzzle that's an animated GIF, Alex. And you have to put it together in real time. And the only way you can move the individual pieces... Yes, kinetic connection! ...is with every frame of animation, so... If you want to choose or move, you only move along to each frame of animation. Yeah, the FDS had a bunch of these games called Kinetic Connection. Mm -hmm. They ran way better than this, though. This is a nightmare. I don't want to think about this game anymore. Next game. Why would you do this? <laughs> why would you make it? Why don't you just make a game people actually want to play? Like, um, Imagine Cross. All right, Sachin, blow me away. Okay. You ever, uh, actually, Alex, you ever seen the the Action Fifty Two episode of the Angry Video Game Nerd? I have not. Eventually, he's just like, "Oh God, another fucking space shooter." I think that's word for word what he says. Is that, uh... And that's what I'm feeling right now. I was gonna say, is that relatable content to you now? How many episodes of the Angry Video Game Nerd have you seen? How many have I seen? I've seen the Top Gun one. You've only seen one episode? Yes. I want to stop the stream right now and make you... Are you going to educate me this <laughs> we're, weekend? We're gonna watch ABGN Season 2, and you're gonna... <laughs> have your comedy brain blown out your ass. I watched it at Thanksgiving... <laughs> Thanksgiving. That's a good time to see the AVGN yeah, at Thanksgiving. brought it up on their laptop. That's cool. Yeah. 
<laughs> also cool this game. Your ship zooms. It's just all over the place. Was that 2008? I don't remember when that was. Anyway. Yeah, AVGN's been a uh, been around for a while. We got to have a watch party while we where we make Alex watch the AVGN and record his his reactions in real time. I got a much better idea for a stream in the middle of this stream. Don't ban me. I'm good. <laughs> Next game. I can't believe you've only ever seen the Top Gun episode. You yep. haven't even seen the Ninja Turtles episode nope. where he's like, you could just walk over it? Nope, I haven't seen it. What the fuck? I bet you haven't played Mahjong Leitai. I haven't, actually. It's really sad. That's what this is called. I want to be the guy who bangs the big drum at the Mahjong house. Me too, me too. What do you think the qualifications are for that? Um, you have to be strong enough to hit the thing. And... <laughs> Which one of these is you? Um, the one in the sunglasses, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's definitely you. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, your skill is not too good. Sorry to sorry to say. And then it turns out to just be Mahjong. Surprise, surprise. Mm. But what if there's nudity in this? Is that, thing, is that something anyone would want to see? Probably not on Twitch in any case. Now I would, yeah, I was going to say. Let's, let's move on. The Mahjong Fight Club. We're getting there. We're getting through this list. We're getting there with Mata Blada. This these aren't even fake. these aren't even words this anymore, is fake. Alex. Honey, you can't even put together titles that are real words and real things. You got to start making up shit. I'm hallucinating, like, right? Like Mata Blada. Like, okay. <laughs> Guess another what? British game. Guess what? Get another fucking side-scrolling shoot 'em up. They should have called this Shooter Games 52. Next. Good this is God, nice because the script. Blatta. It's nice because the script is already written for me. Olympic trials. Haven't I suffered enough? Goodbye, Madablada. You you were here for like one second. He's running. Damn. This is what you call a four on the floor beat. <laughs> Are you printing something? Uh, yeah. Um, I have like an old dot matrix printer. Okay. Oops. Sorry. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's hurdle. Oops. What? Come back. Dude. 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 I forgot! I forgot how to run! Um... Whoa! Hey! Huh? Oh, you gotta push it really fucking fast. You gotta alternate it like 60 hertz. Speaking of hertz... That's what this does. Hey, honey? Yeah? I don't know about this. I lost. They're still making me finish the race. Oh, that's so sad. Nope. Well, you you finish your print job, and uh, and I'll finish the stream. The fuck was that? What is what the fuck is any of this? What is any of this? No time to think. It's time for P fifty two C battle. Alex. What? It's just a C battle at the P fifty two. My favorite band. I placed an order on eBay for every single game for this system, complete in box. Mm -hmm. I just assumed they would be good. Yeah, okay. Oh. Well, I mean, at least you can be the Russian ship. That's cool. Submarine. Anyone see uh, McCall play through all the Hunt for Red October games? <laughs> At the end, he was like, Fuck submarines, dude! 
Fuck the fucking submarines! I'm sick of fucking submarines! And I don't blame him. Not for a single second. Oh, it's multiple types of military naval shooting. Then he got his brain destroyed by Metal Gear. It's been a good week for Macaw streams. <laughs> It really feels like you're out here on the ocean. It does. Just the empty expanse of the ocean. Got him. And you get to upgrade your ship. Let's see what aircraft is like. It's very similar to the others. At least there's multiple styles of gameplay, right? Yeah, that's interesting. They tried different stuff. Alex is reflexively hanging over the close window button, but I do want to see what the fourth and final gameplay type is. Okay. It's this one. Boss fight. <laughs> I like the fact that there's some suspense in wondering if your shots are going to land, because they take so long to get up to the top. No weapon. no weapon! No weapon. I'm done with this. This game ceases to amuse me. Get it out of my sight. Next. Now you're talking. This game's title has me excited. Pac Boy and Mouse. Hey Simon, welcome. welcome. We're approaching the end of the supervision library. And boy! Boy, what a title screen. Yeah. -ho. Oh, another disappointed woman. I haven't even played yet. Don't worry, I'll fix your rat problem. Sorry about the rat. Let me get my mallet. No, man. That's a mouse? Mm-hmm. Classic mouse, honey. It's Pingo? It's Pingo! Let's play it. Pac Boy and Mouse. Pac Boy and Mouse! Bloop. Hmm, yep. That's a Pingo. Never seen anything that look, looks more like Pingo in my whole life. It's really unresponsive, Pingo. Oh, good. Please. What? Oh, just eat me. It... I think it did. Hey, the, the, the supervision seems to be listening in on you. Are you going to see the game over screen? Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be bad. I think it did eat me. I don't like that. It's not what I signed up for. Boy and mouse. <laughs> why does it give you four lives? <laughs> oh, why is this game so nice and generous, Danny asks. <laughs> Here's the game over game over screen from a horror game for some reason. Cool. Wow. Next, please. Please, for the love of God, take me away from that game. Take me away from that game and give me... Yeah, let's skip that. Oh. <laughs> Never mind, let's play it. Nope. I... <laughs> Next up. I went too far. I went too far again. Okay. Alex has gone way too far. Let's play Penguin Hideout. We're getting to some good stuff. I see some good titles coming up. The end is in sight. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. Waiting at the end of the tunnel is an actual Game Boy. You just gotta get there. Mm-hmm. 89 and, uh, 92? Oh, what's this fucking Boulder Dash shit? I don't have time for this. 
No one has time for Boulder Dash nowadays. People lead busy lives. They can barely watch and play the things they want to watch and play. Ain't got no time for Boulder Dash. Are you anti-Boulder Dash? I'm so anti-Boulder Dash. I didn't have a C64 growing up. Some big Boulder Dash fans out there, I'm sure. I'm not one of them. These seals are killer. They are! Do you think you're going to have a disappointed penguin wife? <laughs> I guess we're going to find out. That's why we're getting the diamonds. Mm -hmm. It's like, come on, honey. I'm sorry I failed yet again. Do I got to put the diamonds together? Do I got... Do I gotta... Well, never mind. You'll just have to imagine our disappointed penguin wife. <laughs> More of these games should have bigger ROM file sizes just for having disappointed wives in them. Let's go with Police Bust. <clears throat> I can't believe that so many of these games were made and sold. Some poor British Ooh, kid... What? ...was just watching... Queer icon, Violet Berlin, extol the virtues of this thing. They're gonna be like, oh boy, I'm gonna buy this system and grow up to be gay. <laughs> so are you saying that the Watara supervision made people gay? Yeah. Okay. Never steered me wrong either. I listened to her. Alright, what is this bullshit? Pac-Man? Lock and chase? It's it's lock and chase. It's literally just lock and chase. See, it's Pac-Man, only you're a burglar, and you gotta eat the pellets before the police can stop you. Why do the police want to stop you from eating pellets? Because pellet eating is a serious offense, especially mm. if you do it in public. Well... Don't worry, this game is fictional. I was gonna say, I wish I knew that before I ate pellets downtown. <laughs> it's very much legal here in Austin. Oh, thank God. And uh, legalization is working its way across the country as we speak. Mm, I, thank goodness, because I love me some pellets. I love to go down to the koi pond so you can feed the fish and just, you know. Help. That's me. This console is depressing? I don't know. I think this console is delightful. Where do you get that impression from? <laughs> This has got to have a good game over screen, right? Are you right? Gonna okay. Right? Please, game. At least we get to see this again. I love Help. This. this entire console's a cry for help. Oh. God damn it. Next game. <laughs> I'm impressed in some way about this system. It's hard to really explain how and why I'm impressed with it. I'm sure that'll be much easier to express when you see our next game, Popo Team. Hell they brought yes. they brought our pal Popo back for a sequel on the freaking supervision. Probably one of Sachin's greatest games. Yes, that's one of our uh, that's one of our emotes. There he is. There's Popo, the rarely <laughs> rarely seen in its proper context, the the Popo Team emote. Love him. And he's back. Start, he says. I like his little bow tie. And he winks. I'm freaking out. I'm so happy. So if you don't remember uh, Popo, he is Dr. Popo. He has a degree in garbageology, and he's <laughs> trying to rid the world of all garbage. Thank you, Popo. <sighs> Welcome back, King. We missed you. Oh, I missed him. So if you've never seen this, it's Anteater. The old arcade game. But, it's actually really good. Gotta get the ice cream. Look at that tiny popo at the top of the He's screen. so good! Watch out, watch out! Oh, no! Sorry, Dr. Popo. Yeah, you can't let enemies collide with your, uh... Snake? Your popo uh, cleaning thing. What do they call it? Chichipo? Yeah. How did I remember that? Yeah. Hey, there he oh, is. Look at him! I've God, never seen so him happier. Good. What mm. a great. This is a great game. What a great system. Oh, man. Things have really turned around. <sighs> oh, so glad to see Dr. Popo back. 
See, we needed some authority. We needed someone with a medical degree. <laughs> I, I, it's what, you know what, it's what they always say, retropel streams don't get good until the doctors show up. Mm-hmm. When was the last time we had a doctor? I think I need a doctor now. I love his little vest, I love his little outfit, his tail, his... I love the gameplay, it plays really well. It's not bad and stupid like every other game for the system, it plays like a real video game. Sorry to lay it on the line like that, but you know it's true. It is. It is. Wow. What a cool game. And now, when we lose our last life, will we get to see Dr. Popo's wife? Is Dr. Popo married? Is he single? Is he looking? Are, are, we, are we trying to date Dr. Popo? What's his, uh, you know, alignment? <gasps> Go to the... No, I want to see the animation. <laughs> wow! Good! Uh-huh, yes. uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm-mm. Nope. No way. Look at his little face when you have it. He's, like, frowning. The end. That was so good! That was worth the... Best game by far. Yeah. Best game by far for the supervision. A glorious return for Dr. Popo. That and a return sense. to form for Sachin. Wow. Here we are on the last page of games for the supervision. We're actually going to get through all these tonight. Are you shitting me? But first, we got to play Pyramid. I know what this is. I know what this is. You remember Pyramid? Yes. The Sachin classic that wishes it was Tetris, but instead it's Pyramid. It made a Pyramid 1 and 2 for Famicom. And Pyramid 1 even got released for the NES over here, courtesy of American Video Entertainment. Oh. Yes. This game sucks. I'm just gonna say it. Um, this game is really bad, and it's a really bad concept for a puzzle game. The pieces but, are impossible to put together. But. And the music is really bad. And. That's it. Oh. I thought there was gonna be some turnaround, like, well, but it's actually the greatest game ever made. Sorry, this isn't one of those, like, uh, video essays or something. No, this is just fucking bad. Look at this piece. This is one of the pieces they give this, you in this game. This is literally... Shit. It's the worst part of this game. It's unfortunate. Otherwise, <laughs> the pieces fit together in a pretty satisfying kind of way. They they almost had a game here. Ah, uh, thanks, JW. Glad you're watching. We're, uh... Pyramiding it up. Oh, I hate this game. I'm sorry. I have nothing nice to Check say. Check it out. Check it out. I did it. Did you know this game has bombs? I... Now you know. Now you know. I have to get a game over. I... This is normal, Alex. This is the most normal game we've seen all evening. I just, I've tried so hard to play Pyramid many, many times, and I just... You just don't got the knack. It's like Puyo Puyo, you gotta put in the hours. <sighs> Popo Team was normal. I want that to be the new normal. Oh, other people hate this too? You just can't appreciate... Yeah, it, it kind of sucks. No, it sucks, sorry. <laughs> Reaching the very end. Recycle design, huh? Now you're just admitting it? What, is this gonna be another space shooter? Possibly the coldest jams of the evening? This is... This hurts. Oof. Yeah, we're sending a fax, and we're also uh, making a call, and... Well, Alex wants you to listen to this all night, because I don't have gameplay focus. You don't? Fuck, I'm sorry. <laughs> there we go, I was no. waiting for you to notice. What do you think, Pipe Dream? Yeah. Well... What? What? You 
have to hit the, the D-pad for every step you take. You can't just hold the D-pad in a direction. You have to tap, tap, tap until you can tap no more. I think we got this, though. Never mind. Alex, you want to hit F3? Really? Yeah. I think we got this. I want to make... I want my pipe dream to become pipe reality. Or pipe mania, if you prefer. If you must. Oh, I see. There's two different pipe pieces you can fit. You can hit either A or B to place the uh, different pieces at the bottom of the screen. I'm suddenly much less enthused about this game. Not a... Not a pipe man, Stan. There, I've, I've plugged up the pipes. And everything worked out great. What a pity. What a pity. Next game. It's okay, we just flooded the whole city and everyone's dead now, it's fine. Scaffolder. What a pity. What a pity. <laughs> this, fucking um, YouTube, this fucking YouTube thumbnail ass title screen. What up, YouTube? Dick stuck in supervision again? Yeehaw. What? Whoa. Whoa. Alex? What is this? I'm controlling the world's tiniest little ball. Man. Head. At the bottom of the screen. Ball man head. Oh. Push it. Yeah, there you go. Do we gotta do we gotta lay all the pieces flat? That's my hope. That's what I'm assuming. Haha <laughs> <laughs> Wait, 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 hold on. Check it out. I'm a genius. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, what? Wait. <laughs> it, it's breaking uh, when you push it down because oh. it's too far of a ball. So Hold you on. To... Hold on. Yeah. I, I fucking got this. I got this shit. Check it out. Yeah, yeah, go. okay. This is like nothing else I've ever played. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Ha <laughs> What was your reaction, Alex? My reaction is our next game is Soccer Champion. Hell yeah, let's do it. Soccer Champion. I want to be a soccer champion. I do too. We got a soccer stadium in town and everything. There he is, the soccer champion. There he goes, the soccer champion. These intros are something else. <laughs> I can't believe the intros to these games. Three, five, eight. Spain, Russian. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got to go with Germany because mm -hmm. uh, that's where all the supervision fans are. Uh, we'll have them square off against Russian. Okay. In an exercise. Oh, boy. Oh, jeez. Hold on, I got to get up to the... I got to get the <laughs> ball. 
gotta very slowly move up to where it... Huh? Oh, I see. Give me the... Give me the freaking ball. Give me the... Okay, I found the kick button. Don't you do it. I'll get to you. I'll catch up to you. <laughs> this is very disjointed soccer. <laughs> Look at this battle of wits. I love this. Come on, come on, let's let's go. Let's go. Let's take it up the No, come on, man. Dude, give me the ball back. This is senseless soccer. <laughs> Need to talk some sense into this soccer. Up oh, throw in. What is this? It's very I only feel like I'm vaguely in control of what's going on here. It is a hostage message in Morse code. It is! It is! Please stop making me play supervision games. Says the hostage. Look at all these idiots running around wondering where the ball is. I love that guy. Do I have a goalie anymore? Is he gone? Oh no, there he is. Goalie died. Ha! I kick in! In. Wow, I didn't know we had an elf on our team. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think that's I think we've seen enough of that. Good game. Possibly the best game of the evening. Sunny Express is our next game. Ha! I kick in. I kick in. I kill me. Ha! Was that taken from Super Kickoff? What? What? Wait a minute! Hold on! Don't wink at me! Don't you dare wink at me! I don't think... Ah! I don't think anything I've seen tonight could have prepared me for this. I don't... NFT ass, NFT... Yeah, it's it's GTA 1. Let's do some missions. I'm turning myself in. <laughs> I can't even begin to tell you how this one's played. It reminds me of that one motorcycle delivery game for the PC Engine. It was on uh, Game Center CX once. Other than that, I don't have a great frame of reference for this. And I keep exploding. So that's an even bigger problem. Yeah. Post? You should probably... Oh. Slam into the post office? Can do. What? I saw... I saw him for a second. That bastard Sonny. Are you, are, you gonna, are you gonna kill him so you can see him again? Yeah, I wanna okay. see that again. I skipped past it last time. Do you have an inventory? What? Sunny Express is too fucking complicated. We have one lives, 700 gas, zero money, zero safe, zero excited dollars. <laughs> zero packages in 87 seconds. Let's do it. Rammed right into the park. <gasps> Look at him! This is why you don't let a monkey on a scooter. Wrong. This is exactly why you put a monkey on a scooter. He's adorable. That's how I look. We'll agree to disagree. Okay. Next game. You know, if we are going to play all these, why don't we play the one that we skipped? It's called Pacific Theater or something. Pacific Battle. I was just ready to move on. I didn't know how far we were in the list or whether we were about to finish. But I think we can actually play every game. I wish we hadn't played this one. 
I wish we hadn't played this one. Sorry, Alex. Why is it a military strategy game? Uh, here. Oh, I see it's Battleship. <laughs> Loss. <laughs> well, you had to have Battleship. Why not, um, have it look like this? Yeah, it's gonna go up here. Here we go. This is a hit for sure. Well, shit. Next. Next. I'm ready to end this. We're like less than ten games away from finally washing our hands of the system completely. Space Fighter. I think these next few are going to be in lightning round format. Okay. If I see a single space shooter, so help me God. All right. It's ass as grass. Whoa! That's just a Gundam. I know my Gundams. That's a Gundam. That is pure Gundam. 100% Gundam. You think this qualifies as uh, something you would call a, a farty little tune? Yes, this is a very farty tune. Oh no, the cat people, they found me. <laughs> oh, they're adorable! Oh, they're killing you. They take 10,000 bullets each. They really do. Hmm. Beep, beep. <laughs> Fuck you. Next game. <laughs> I've had I've had it. I've had it up to here with this system's bullshit. Snake. Yeah, snake. Let's let's play snake. Not snake Roy, just regular snake. I wish it was snake Roy. God me too. Did it talk? Yeah. I didn't know this thing could talk. 60 games in and finally it says a word to us. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's what this is. It's Snake. Secret bonus. I can do it. Just talking about Snake. He's doing Snake. You did it! You snaked it up. I thought that was well done, too. Yeah, what's with the music in this being tuneful and okay? <laughs> I think it's because it's from another developer. Yeah, it... Not Sachin. This was developed by Bits, really. Yeah, that's a European studio, I think. They out sachin Sachin themselves. Incredible. Moving on. Of course there had to be a Snake game on this thing. I think we already played a game that was similar to Snake, but... We did, yeah. Why not why not do another one? Super block. I'm ready to call this Arkanoid and then quit. Are you ready? Yes, I have my finger over closed and everything. Play block, fill block, hit block. Fill block. Regrettably Regrettably it's not Arkanoid. Instead it's Flipple. Flipple! That bastard Flipple, everyone's least favorite Taito game. Flipples. He's flipping us off, that's nice. Flipple's alright, but I'd rather not. Next game. Not a bad choice for your system. It's a puzzler that's not often seen. I'll give him credit. But what about Super Kong? I'm so excited to finish. I can hear... I can... <laughs> I, can I can smell dinner being cooked. You can hear dinner being cooked, too. I'm, I'm Synastasian over here. Yuck! Look! Yeah. 
That's just Donkey Kong. That's DK3 Donkey Kong. Whoa. You just stole that Kong. <laughs> well, it's a horizontal variation on Donkey Kong 3, which is a vertical shoot 'em up kinda. For whatever reason, they adapted this to be in a horizontal format. And it's like a versus fighter kind? God, his attack is too strong. <laughs> yeah, this is giving me uh, flashbacks of Donkey Kong 3 Special on your, your stream, Sass. The one with the aliens. This might actually be weirder. I can't dodge that! Undodgeable! Okay, this is the one. Okay, here you go. I'm gonna be all the way up here so he can't hit me. I don't think there's a strategy here. I think the strategy is just throw a few things and then let, let Donkey Kong... You can get off the vine? Well, fuck this. I'm gonna take this into my own hands. Come here, Donkey Kong. You piece of shit. Look at him. He's backing off. See? He scared oh, he's of me. Pissed. Chicken shit. Get the... Whoa, fuck! Next. I was shocked. Were you shocked? Con really? That was pretty shocking. Super Pang. Do we have to? He legit heard me talking shit. Mm -hmm, he jumped down. He crushed your ass. Guess what? It's Pang. Your favorite bubble busting game starring the Buster Brothers. I love Pang. Do you know the Buster Brothers aren't even properly licensed bubble busters? Really? They're not part of the union. So they've been busting bubbles illegally this whole time? Mm-hmm. Holy shit. Gives new meaning to union busting. Was that set up just for the joke? No, I came to that conclusion, uh... Sure. I came to that conclusion algorithmically. All of our jokes are algorithmic. Fucking hell. Know. I want to beat one level of this. I don't think I can beat one level of this. Gauze Rage has been summoned. Yeah, it's fair. <laughs> okay, that's bullshit. Next. I, I don't have to put up with that. I'm better than that. We can play Tassac 2010, even though it's 2021. It's only a little behind. Yeah, I'm not paying licensed either, but I don't put ads in the want ads saying that I am a licensed panger. So, space shoot him up. I'm assuming. Oh, that was fancy. It's a nice looking one, at least. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I think I said uh, they should have called this Shooter Games 52 way too soon. Way too soon, yeah. I should have saved that joke to them for the end of the stream. Now I just have nothing to say. Nutsack 2010. Shit game 2010. Who said Nutsack 2010? I'm not, I'm not gonna. <laughs> you can check the tapes for that. Oh, shit. Oh, next. Next, next, next. We're going, we're going. Give... <laughs> Only got a few games to go. Tennis Pro 92. What was it like to be a tennis pro in 1992? Difficult. <laughs> so was graphic design, apparently. Bits. Another bits game. Are these... Are these tennis players up there? That's what they look like in 92. Players. Oh. You... You hear that? Yeah. Why did they give me the bullshit tennis racket that sucks? 
you seen this? It's... Great job, guys. You made a tennis game that's not winnable by humans. Real impressive. We're all very impressed with you. I hit the net every single time. Every single time. I see how it is. Next. I'm insulted. I've Are never been insulted? so insulted in my life. Thunder shooting. I wonder what kind of game this is. I wonder where we're shooting. Thanks for the 100 BITS set aside. <laughs> Thank you. Oh yeah, tennis is hard as shit. That's why I play video game tennis. Is that Thunder from the Thunder Force logo? That's the same font. It is, yeah. There's a story all of a sudden? 60 games in, we suddenly have a story? Enormous galaxy, there are many stars facing the crisis of overpopulation. Uh-oh. For example? The Alexander Empire. Good job, Alex. You Sorry. sure overpopulated the shit out of this planet. I just... Listen. To resolve this problem, Alex is launching four fleets and looking for the heaven in the legend. The, the Earth. Earth. <laughs> uh -huh. Sounds about right. Be nice to me. I'm a typical. I'm a typical nation. How could you do this, Alex? I'm sorry. Don't you know just... how many space shoot 'em ups I played already? I didn't mean to overpopulate the Earth. I just. God damn it. What can I say? This is somehow the least playable space shoot 'em up out of all the games I've seen so far. What's with this weapon? What's with anything? What is game? What am I? Who are you? Who is anyone? Next game. This is our fourth to last game. The end is in sight, I swear to you. I swear to God, there is an end to this. Cat is making really sad noises outside. The cat just really wants to play Treasure Hunter for supervision. I repeat. Alex? Yes? Do you remember what I said earlier? About Boulder Dash? <laughs> yes? Why they keep doing it then? They heard me. Well... They heard my proclamation that no one wants to play Boulder Dash, that no one has time for it. They changed their- they, they just, you know... Sometimes they just don't listen to the fans, you know? That's and, the problem. They gotta listen to the fans. That's true. If fans ran the industry, everything would be so- The third to last game we're playing tonight is... TV Link? Is this an accessory or something? We'll see. Is this going to crash MAME? <laughs> <laughs> worth it! Worth it! Worth it! Worth it! Worth it! Worth it! I... I... TV Link is playing. It sure is. It sure is. I have a feeling this is an accessory, because it's not really letting me do anything, but... Regardless, this is still in the top 10 games we've played today. <laughs> easy, easy top 10 material. Easily. Thank you, TV Link. Thank you. Okay, so this was an accessory to let you pl play the Watara Supervision on your TV. Okay. Oh, makes sense. Makes sense. And on the screen, you would just see that, that handsome robot the entire time. What a deal. This is it, the second to last game. Untouchable. <laughs> That's a good sign that it's called Untouchable. I don't like that. Dude, we played 60, 67 games on stream today. I think that's a new record. Does your brain hurt too? It hurts so bad, dude. I feel so bad. My brain is on fire. You know when a kid smokes a cigarette and they punish them by making them smoke the whole pack? Yeah. Yeah, I'm feeling that way with this. 
Like, my body aches. I regret it. I regret <laughs> streaming. You're getting the chills. Mm -hmm. You got a fever for some reason. Mm -hmm. And worst of all, it's another freaking shoot 'em up. Only this game, you're some weirdo with a helipack. You're you're in a graveyard, so that's cool. Why am I in a graveyard, Alex? Why am I in a graveyard? Graveyard theory. It's time for some graveyard theory. <laughs> <laughs> but that's just a graveyard theory. Help. You know, I think I have to appreciate this, because this is our second to last game. You're just gonna take it in? Yeah. I gotta enjoy this while I can. Let's lose our final lives. There's a shop? My brain can't take it. The idea of this game having a shop mechanic. I can't. I just can't. Not a fan? I'm so done. I am so done with this. You would not even believe. Untouchable. It sure is. They said it couldn't be done. They said no one could play every single Supervision game during a single stream, but we proved them wrong. We're finishing things up with the final game, Witty Cat. Okay, I like the name. Fuck yes, I like Witty the name Cat. A lot. Please be a Witty Cat. This has got to be good. Hopefully, it's not a space shoot 'em up. At least. <laughs> what? 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 Well, let's what? start her up. <laughs> Why don't you play the game, Danny? Try it! Play the game! Play the game! Play the game! I don't know what I thought this would be. I'm not pleased that it's this. I've never been pleased to see this. How could you do that to me? I played... I played every game in your library, dude! I tried to show you off the best I could! And then this is what you do to me at the very end? I have no words! That's it! I ran out of words! Hundred bits from Rusty, uh, ban treasure. Yes. Yeah, we're we're banning bond treasure and the real treasure just to be safe. I didn't see that being the conclusion of today's stream. Me either. Alex, please cut to the end screen. I have I have no words left. The words are the words are gone. Words are meaningless. All the words have been said. The only thing we can do from now on is to repeat them in different orders and uh, meanings. That's how language what works. What the f How could you do that to me? Hey! I'm so pissed off. <laughs> I, sla I slapped my leg in anger at the idea that the supervision would dare. Well, okay, we got through the whole library. Mm -hmm. There you go, the Watara supervision. It's a system. It's the system that all of our patrons voted to see. Thank you for that. Thank you can you. head to our Patreon and kick in five bucks a month and you'll get access to our weekly polls. I'm... I'm looking for a raid target. Alex, you finish you fin you finish things up, please. We are also on YouTube, youtube.com slash retropals. We post highlights of our streams there, including our latest one, which is a full playthrough of Alone in the Dark, One Eye Jack's Revenge on the PS1. So do check that out. It's a Christmas game and a Halloween game all rolled into one. Um, we're also on Twitter, twitter.com slash retropalshq. We post when we go live there and when we've got new YouTube videos up. So do check us out there for the Retropals news you couldn't, well, you could or could not possibly use. Sorry, I am a little, I am a little flashied out. <laughs> so my brain is kind of wild. I can't believe how. Yeah. I, I just, it's stream. 
we'll be back on Friday with hopefully the conclusion of Sega Saturn Imports Keeper Cell. That will be, if I can help it, a non-stop stream until I finish every single game on that list. So please tune in for that, 8 p.m. Central, this Friday. I'm going to try to resume having a normal life after this, but in the meanwhile, please enjoy our raid target, which will be... Dude, fucking really? Voxandra playing Lagoon for the X68000? And it's in English? Someone Yo. translated Lagoon for the X68000? If you're unaware, Lagoon is this horrible action RPG for Super Nintendo that got uh, heavily modified to be much worse when it was localized for the States. There is a, a Japanese version. It first came out for the X68000 where it was more of an Ease clone. And I guess someone took the time to translate this. So please go say hi to Voxandra. Have a good rest of your evening. I never want to see any Mouse Cop games ever again. Thanks for watching. See ya, folks.